Now, we begin. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, it's Charity Mouse back. Some more live gameplay. We're versus the Trinomere. Be sure to like and subscribe. <sighs> Take me on Twitch if you dirty mobs. Listen, when Trinomere is spinning at you, it's scary. Okay, it's not fun. This guy's running Ignite. So you, you don't want to take any damage early. What he wants to do is his next E, now that he has uh, his Rage Bar filled up, he wants to spin through, especially at level 2, slow me, and then start trying to get some crit RNG on me. Wow, he's not doing that. So he's playing kind of strange, honestly. Most Tranemirs would be way more aggro to try to get some spins into crits. Oh, like that. Oh, there you go. Good job. First, first one crits. You good. This is a very hard matchup, I would say, for Alawe. Uh, a lot of people, one thing you would note is that a lot of people would have walked up for a minion early on, and you would have gotten, you would have taken, you probably would have died, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, not even like you would lose like 500 HP, you'd probably just die. A lot of people would. The trick is, you just can't walk up to a minion. You just don't get to. That's not how it works. What you wanna do is wait till level three, and when he goes for like, you know, a tentacle, you like whiff your E, and you look really silly. On YouTube and on Twitch and everywhere, and just the whole world can laugh at you. I'm laughing, but um, I, you actually kind of want him to spin through now because I want him to hit these minions a little bit. If I can get him to hit, spin through and hit the minions, that'd be really nice. Echo, keep through here. My tentacle back up. Spin through, please. Echo's probably top side. That's fine. I'm only worried about the echo stun into a Trinomir all in with ignite. The reason I want him to spin through is because it would... It doesn't matter too much. We're not going to be too aggro. It just would create some pressure on him so that it can make a 1v1 trade a little bit easier to execute on. How do we play this matchup? For one, nin Ninja Tabby's first would be really good here. It works for good versus Trinomir, Viego, and Ezreal. And uh, move suit's really important because the way we play it is once we hit level six, what's gonna happen is we're gonna trade E, E, Alt W for his ult. Um, and then we want to kite. We're gonna kite, 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 and uh, try to stall out his five second ult timer, and then we go for a kill at the end of it. Which is uh, definitely easier said than done, especially when they run the um, the movement speed. What is it called? Um, Nimbus Cloak? When they're in Nimbus Cloak plus Ignite, it can be really difficult because you have the increased damage, you have the healing reduction, and you have the move speed. Makes it very, 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 very tough. Here again, I'm not walking up for these minions. I'm just like kind of chilling. Kind of poking them down a little bit, but being a little bit ahead isn't enough. Okay, cool. Your number one goal is to not die before your first bag. Because he has Ignite, you have Teleport. That wasn't that great for me. I was hoping to like get him low here, maybe with the W between two tentacles. Uh, but didn't work out. Okay, we're gonna go boom, boom, and boom. Pretty effective gold bag. Now we wanna do is try to, he's gonna try to push. If we can freeze this and deny him the next few waves, he's either gonna make, he has two decisions. He can either back and reset and spend his gold. Actually, I don't want him to back. Oh, I want to freeze this. He has a, a little bit of an experience lead right now. All right, if he backs, he gets denied a minion, uh, cannon wave. And I'll take that too. That's fine. Yeah, he's not going to want to back. They never want to back. It's too bad. So he's going to try to push, push, push. What I want to do is basically make it to where he never gets to reset. And if I can poke him down, that's even better. I just want to keep it frozen for as long as I can. There we go. Alright, so this is like where we're like doing well. Now we can push hard. And maybe contest him. When And again, we have spent our gold. So he's sitting on a lot of gold. But he hasn't realized that gold. So we're actually pretty ahead right now. I do want to be afraid of Echo. Yep, I'm going to run Tate down. I hope you don't die in the meantime. Get exhaust. Please flash. You don't have flash because you have exhaust. Cool. 
I'd really like to go back top. I think Echo's gonna go back onto Karthus though, because he has the ult advantage. Nope, doesn't look like Echo went back on Karthus. Yes, he still hasn't been able to back. This is the downside of Flash. I mean, not Flash, Ignite. If you run Ignite and you're versus a teleport top laner and you don't get to get a kill and you don't get to reset when you need to, it ends up making your laning phase really awkward because you don't want to back and give up like a whole minion wave. What you actually should just go ahead and do. This guy should have just backed like earlier. And because what's happening now is he's slowly like losing. He's just slowly losing. I mean, you're better off just resetting. Trying to get his ult. Uh, he might not be low enough, actually. I have to, like, hit him just a little bit lower. Ah. Uh. Dang, we're trying to set up a kill with uh, the Karthus ult, but just wasn't wasn't able to get him low enough. His healing was just too much. That's alright. That's why I ulted randomly there. Dang. Maybe I should have stayed. I was just I was worried about uh the echo coming up. I don't think he's gonna be able to stop his back here. I think he's gonna find him. We get the cannon. Well, actually, pretty good reset though, because I only missed uh, missed the three melees, but that's in. Cool, cool, cool. Really, really good early landing phase. This is one of those matchups that if you get behind on, he will like perma dive you, and you'll like wonder like how you ever win. And he'll always win. He'll stat check you every time. You'll be very curious why you're never winning. Um, it's really hard if you get behind. And I'm still not really ahead. I've stalled for the his strongest part of the game. But we're still not like out of the woods, so to speak. Every miss E, you gotta get running. See, I'm tankier now that I have some boots. Don't know where their jungler is though, so I'm kind of sussed out right now. Uh, I'm so afraid of Echo. We almost timed that well. So yeah, it's all about kiting, and that's why going those early boots is always important, especially if he's gonna go early boots. Echo's bot. Turner stayed. I'm not too worried about dying to him. You gotta be kidding me, dude. I'm worried about um, their mid laner. No, their mid laner went bot. Yeah, this is a straight 1v1 right now. Really, really, really important that we auto cancel there. Every, every auto is important there. Every single one. Now, I'm assuming because Echo was bot last scene, I'm assuming he's not top yet. He could be on his way top, um, so I'm greeting a little bit to push this in. I'm not going to miss a plate, so I'm just hard resetting now. I'm going to go all the way under turret as well. Grinsold is longer cooldown than alive, but I don't think it's by much. I could be wrong on that, but... Okay. Oh! Hey, remember when we tested an item for this matchup specifically? Anyone remember that? The Duskblade tech. I should really go bot here. 
but it depends on what the team wants to do. Uh, I don't trust my team to handle Trinomir. I'm going to keep going versus top. In higher elo, I should go bot now and let the team play to top side. But no, there's no Herald either, actually. They'd play to top turret, that's it. So mid and bot could swap and rotate. So bot lane comes here and tries to take mid turret because they have a little bit more pressure and then bot can, or, uh, and then Yone can go solo uh, bot lane. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you all a little tech, a little tech we worked on. The idea is basically, the way this 1v1 works is we end up E-ulting. We end up E-ulting and then kiting. What we can do is we can E ult W to kill the spirit, use the spirit to generate an invis proc from Duskblade, and then use that to, to really effectively kite the uh, Trinomir. And the slow is also important as well from the auto attack. You want to get this lower? You want to get this as low as you can, but because the this will do true damage, the Herald. You want it to about two and a half, and then it'll kill it. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's about two actually. You did this to me, Shelly. I can't believe that. It goes men. They're pushing. At level six, the CD is ten seconds less than yours. Oh wow, Trimmer is actually a lower CDR than mine. Dang, I didn't. I didn't think that. You know, I think I have died to that once before, because I was shocked. So I was like, what? It's lower cooldown than mine? Remember, if you can E after you Q, the chances of you landing that E are significantly higher, because it kind of hides the animation a little bit. I can get this red buff before Echo just spawned. I'm, wondering, I'm assuming Trinomir is going to come over there, and Echo might, or not Echo, Ezreal might come from top, or from mid. I think 100% Echo comes here, then. We'll see if I can get this first. I think he wants blue buff more, though. Sometimes lucky? Alright, you know what? I'll trade here, it's fine. Bringing a 1v3 like that, that's okay in my book. We get Dust Blade. Kramer gets a kill. Eh, whatever. I should have a little bit more backup from our team. But... Yeah, mana. I know. Nah, it was a little bit mana, but it was, it was mainly just like, just not being able to last long enough. I'm down to clown. Oh, he is so mad right now. Oh, I guess we're mad actually. Wait, can we figure out where he recalls based on the these? Get back there. Get there in time. Dude, if we had hit him there, oh my goodness, that would've been crazazy. That's right. Hey, we did get his flash though, which means in the next 1v1, when we have to kite out his ult, and we can flash and he doesn't have flash. That's good. Let's turn it off of the play too. White. Oh, that doesn't land? No shot. Oh, they have a Viego. Like, they don't have Karthus. We have Karthus. Hmm, do I take an outnumbered fight here? I think I can. Up work too. Yo, spin on me, dog. Come on.
The problem is, he sells old, so I can't really, like, flash follow him. I need to save my flash for now. Who does that? <laughs> oh, he is super mad. I missed one. I guess his nose is bothering them. Not good. So yeah, hopefully that makes it sense to a lot of y'all. The turret living for a million years at 1 HP is the saddest timeline of all time. That's okay. We're still doing really well in a, like, a hard counter matchup. I'm gonna go some, uh, I'm gonna go tank item now. Um, I don't really like randoms as much as I used to anymore. Although we could use some help. Hmm. Hmm. The problem with the randoms uh, is that the attack damage and crit damage reduction is only active during the slow part of the item. It's not all the time anymore. But I really do need help. I could get Denman's Plate. I'm already, like, so close to this. I might, I mean, I can just complete the item. It's right there. It's in our grasp. I it doesn't really actually give us that much more health than we already had. It, we only got 50 health from completing it over Kindle Gem. So that wasn't great. But that's alright. I think it'll be really useful. Again, with the kiting and the damage reduction and all. There's no point in flashing either, because I was I would have had to live for so long that it's better off, I think, just saving the flash. That's how this fight was going. If I if the turret had died the problem is, I was expect I was hoping the minions would be able to finish the turret as I like E and like start di fighting Tridomir. But because Tridomir hit me, all the minions didn't aggro it onto Tridomir, and so none of them were hitting freaking the turret anymore. <laughs> That's why like that fight went so wonky. It was, just, it was a poor execution. I, think, I see they're fighting mid right now, but I think I just commit to this turret. Are they just ending the game? Well, maybe they are? No, they're not. Okay. We just need to go double inhib? We go double inhib into a basically five man bot. Or we could Baron and five man bot. That's the play right now, macro wise. Maybe you're trying Dustwood on Lowry? The idea is, if you think about the way the Tridmere allowing matchup goes, um, you pretty much end up E, Alt, W, kiting. And the dust blade passive between the slow and the invisibility is really, really, really strong first that. So I think it's actually a pretty good tech into Tridmere. Obviously, this game is mainly just how we played versus Tridmere. That dictated like us winning. It wasn't the item at all. Um, but... That's the idea, and I think it's actually a pretty good strategy. So GG, hopefully that helps you a little bit with Tournament. Uh, pretty interesting build if you want to try it out. See you tomorrow.